Right. We're back. Cup craziness part two. Obviously, you've got the uh, replay. Um, we're supposed to have a game between the last the Wolves game that I've just left you and this cut replay, but um, it was rained off. <laughs> it's bloody cricket, isn't it? Yeah, um, our, sometimes our games get called off because of um, waterlogged pitch, which hopefully wouldn't happen when we get the new stadium. Um, I'll give you a couple of updates on the transfer front. Uh, so, outs, um, not really any outs. Obviously, um, what's his name? McHenry did go uh, for 51 million. That's all, that's, you know, including the um, installments that I come in. Um, I didn't get all of that. I think I had a deal with Chelsea that they got about 15%. So they got 15% and about 13%, uh, about 13 million was added to the transfer budget. Um, in terms of ins, not really bought anyone in as such. I have got, um, I'll show you one guy. So um, I've got Finley Ferguson as the striker. You guys know about it. I'm really looking forward to him coming because he looks really good. Um, yeah, so he's come in in the summer. Um, I've managed to have a bid accepted for a guy, who's a, a guy who had last year on loan, Giudomenko Bove. He's on loan at Caviari from Milan at the moment. And I just uh, thought I'd chuck in a five million quid bid and they accepted. So he'll be coming in, in the summer. So he's not coming now. So I think um, Brian will be as a backup for right, for, on the right wing for now. Um, I'm trying to get a left winger in either on loan, yeah, probably on loan, and then reinvest in the start of the season. So, Egan or Bello, um, I'm I'm more likely to get Egan. I just chucked in Bello because Bello looks really good, but they want a lot of money for him. Um, yeah, they want 130k per month. So that's like wages. They want 130k per month, while the Egan they want 56k per month. Um, and he looks pretty decent on the left wing. And he also can play as a striker, so backup striker. So hopefully I get one of those in. And I've also inquired about this guy at Real Madrid. He's also um, 19 years old. He's uh, That'll be on loan for the rest of the season, but only 40K, 48k per month. So hopefully one of those guys, and then I'll be happy with that. I did get um, a cam in, a central, midf a central attacker midfielder. I'll show you him. This guy, Emra Marina. He had a... Um, uh, minimum fee release cause of 2 million and he looks decent he's only 20 he's bosnian uh he's only 20 years old and can play in this the the role i want him to play which is a advanced playmaker support may not be the greatest there but he could still improve um and i'm confident that i've got a really good coaching staff to be able to get him through it so yeah i've still got quite a bit of money left actually um i've still got about 12 and a half million um, I could go out for a striker, but the way I see it is I got a really good striker coming in the summer, so I don't really want to spend money on one that could be really good, and then I'll have a problem with having trying to fit two strikers into one spot. So I'm just gonna uh, loan someone hopefully until the end of the season, and then see what I can do with the money. Hopefully get promoted. But yeah, so obviously I've not played any games since I left you, so there's no need to update on that. I'm just go straight into the replay at the Emirates, shall we? We'll get a bit of money obviously for this game. Um, obviously, Arsenal are favourites to win it, but um, I think we can cause an upset. Oh, yeah, Brian suspended, but War's back. Okay, good. War's not injured anymore. So I'll play him as his favoured attacking winger position. More Friday. I'm going to play Smart for this one. Smart got on the score sheet in the last game, so I'm going to play him for this. I think that's only really fair. Yeah, so we'll go for this team. Uh, I don't know why Gordon doesn't seem to be suited. What's he saying? Lack of familiar information is impacting his cause overall tactical cohesion and where possible should we give more time to... Yeah, but he's played pretty much every game. I don't... <sighs> Confuses me sometimes. Okay. If anybody knows, if anyone knows a lot about this game, can tell me why he's been a little bitch about it. Let me know. Okay. There we go. I'm happy with this squad. Pretty much our first first choice team. Oh yeah. I suppose our new boy's on the bench, isn't he? Yeah, Marine's on the bench. Doesn't prefer any number. He's quite young, so I'm not going to give him one of the good ones. I'll give him 21. There we go. Again. It's again, it's just like 
both with the Arsenal and the Wolves game and the Liverpool game last year and the playoff semi-final last year, I felt I shouldn't be disappointed because I didn't deserve to be there. I felt I felt like I kind of, but but I put myself in positions where I could have won. Um, so I feel like I, I feel like I'm. I should have. We should have won that game. We should have won the the first game against Arsenal, but we didn't. Um, couldn't hold on to a lead two 0 with three minutes to go. Sometimes I think the game is twisted against you, but they are not. He's not even on the bench. No Mbappe. Mm. Yeah, I've got the guy who scored two goals for them. Uh, Jude Bellingham is there. He didn't start the last game. And they've also got Diego Jota on the bench there. But not many people I know. We've got a strong team. So let's go. Come on. Oh dear, I pressed it too many times. Oh God, this game just is too slow to react. I, all right, so they haven't got a team talk. I'm probably going to get battered. keep saying that as well if anyone can help me with this keep saying that some people are used to playing different intensities and more direct higher tempo but I've had them for ages and they just don't seem to adjust why is it that other players are fine when they come straight in but these guys who've been here for ages can't adjust not much going on so far I'll take it for those penalties. We've won three penalty shootouts this year already. All right. Let's go. More. Do something. Gordon. We're a football playing team. That is for sure. But I'm just a bit worried that they're going to put themselves in a position where we're going to get caught. I'm going to play one long ball and lose it. Bellingham. This is dangerous. This is dangerous. He scored. Kulusevski has scored. First highlight of the game and he puts it in. That's annoying. I'm looking at the performances. Opara is awful. War is playing badly. We're not playing well. Sympathise. Yeah, okay, fine. Is everyone digging? No, we don't deserve to win. That's bollocks. You've been unlucky. It seems to have put them in good spirits. Yeah, look, a power is a shocking game. Attacking midfielders, none of them are playing well. We're just going nowhere near this. Yeah, power has been poor. I take him off. He's not. I've got Pavlenko. He's quite decent. I might start. I might start moving Pavlenko into the team permanently. Uh, let's give the new boy a run. Run out. Yeah, we've done nothing really in this game. Such a shame. Tune it up. And we're going to go out here. Because we're not getting it anywhere near it. So I'm playing cautiously and let's play attacking for Christ's sake. Pointless if you're going to get, if you're just going to let the game go past you. Nothing's happened. Nothing's happened. Right. It's all well and good playing this sort of low, you know, just sort of patient football but if you can't get anywhere down if you can't get anywhere with it get stuck in yeah kick them you know what they're like what have I got even here on Friday we just done nothing what a damp squib of a performance hang on what happened there did not come on Yeah, pretty pretty annoying when you we played well, but we're not getting anywhere in this. One highlight. What a boring game. What a boring game. After such entertaining first game. Absolute dull. There you go. One highlight and it was their goal. What a pathetic game. Seems like the defence did okay, but the rest of the team did nothing. 
Sorry, lads. Shane, that was so boring. Um, I'll play the league games in between, but we'll, uh, the next game I'll jump you on will be the uh, Wolves game. See you then. Okay, quick update as to what we've been getting on. Um, bought a couple of guys in on loan. Um, managed to get this guy from Barcelona on loan on, as, left, as a left winger. Uh, it looks pretty good, but hasn't really set it on Steam. Made a couple of sub appearances, didn't do much. And I uh, got this young striker from, I think he's from Chelsea. Uh, he's a wonder kid, apparently. Um, so I'm, he's probably not the kind of player that will be perfect, but he's, um, yeah, me description wonder kid, lovely. Uh, he's not quite the player that I think that we need, but he might be good enough to take over from Smart. Um, Friday's about to leave on loan as well, so he'll be going. Um, I'm really quite annoyed because we played three games and we've been absolutely awful in between that cup game. Uh, lost 1-0 to Mill, one of them boring games where they didn't seem to do anything. Coventry drew 0-0, Coventry at bottom of the league, couldn't do anything and got battered by Leeds to 5-3. Don't let that result confuse you. Um, going forward, we looked okay, but defensively we were shocking. They were just getting around us all the time. It's one of the worst defensive performances we've ever put in. I think every one of the defenders made mistakes. We conceded several clear-cut chances. It's really shocking, and it's a very, very worrying. Um, we're fifth in the table. We are 16 points off of first. We're 12 points off of second, so I'm thinking that automatic promotion is gone. I did some uh, maths. Um, we have played 17 games from the 24th of November to date, and we have won three of them. Three out of 17 is not promotion form. And we are in serious trouble. We haven't won so far in this year. We haven't won a game of football this year. Last game we won was the last game of 2029. We're now in 2030 and haven't won a game yet. Um, it's worrying, really worrying. I'm, I'm kind of hoping we lose today in a way uh, to get that monkey off our back. We've got several suspensions for this game. And I've also promised to uh, rest war. Um, for a couple of weeks because war it's after it's so annoying after every game I play martial war they always say they're they need a rest every time um so I'm gonna give them both a couple of weeks off um I don't want Jake Pover to play right wing thank you can Bo Bello play there yeah I play him as an inverted winger um yeah, it's I, I, I absolutely flabbergasted at what's been going on at the moment. Um, so many things been going wrong. So many injuries. So many like three suspensions. Yeah, War and Marsh seem like they need to be set, arrested after every game. Um, I've got two guys here who are about to leave the club on the bench because of so many injuries and suspensions. Transfer deadline day is tomorrow, and I'm I don't know if I can be bothered to get anybody in. Um. Ah. Uh, yeah. I'm absolutely flabbergasted at how badly things are going at the moment. Um, upside, Darren Moore looks really good. <laughs> he scored two in the Leeds game. He's been playing really well, but I can't. I I don't know what I don't know what to do at the moment. Um, so bad, really, really bad at the moment. Got to improve point. We've yeah, it's it's the worst it's been since I've taken over as manager. Um, and. They want to win the championship, and we are 16 points behind that. Look, I put Bello in at right mid. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Right. After three minutes, my right back's got injured. My other right back is injured, so I can't play him. Um, so I'm going to have to put a central defender who doesn't know how to play right back. What can I put Ruggiero? Will Ruggiero do a job at right back? Yeah, he's going to have to do a trick, do a job for us. He doesn't know how to do it, does he? Uh, can Boy play there? No, they're as bad as each other. Um, I think Boy's less likely to make mistakes, so I'll put him there. Uh, I, it can't, it's so, it's, everything, everything's going wrong. Um, I've had times every season where things have gone a bit wrong. This is disastrous because suspensions, injuries and awful form are all kicking in at the same time. They're playing badly. Go on, Bello. Go on, Bello. Oh. Uh, yeah, I just... I don't... I don't... 
I don't think I'm going to last past the season, to be honest with you. I know that's really morbid considering I've done so well. Um, but they want us to win the championship. I don't think we're going to get anywhere near that. I don't think even we think. I don't think we get top two anywhere near top two. Um, playoffs we're looking dodgy for as well because we, our form's been so bad that we're dropping like a stone. Um, I'm not really bothered about this game, to be honest with you. The next game we are home to Bournemouth, and Bournemouth is second in the table. Um, I'm not going to play War. Um, he needs he needs rest. If he keeps coming to me after every game saying he's jaded, it's ridiculous. He needs time off. I, I asked. I said. I, I talked to him. I was tempted to give him a month off because he keeps coming back and he keeps coming back saying he needs a rest. And uh, he said he didn't want a month, so I said and negotiated down two weeks, and he was all right with that. Come on, drop it back, drop it back. What? <sighs> okay. Two bookings already, so. I can see one of them getting sent off. Um, yeah, we're really struggling. We're really struggling at the moment. Uh, our smart is doing nothing. I, I brought on Povey. He's not. Really, he didn't really do much, but a harsh game to bring him on. We were getting battered. Just can't really judge him on that. This is professional debut as well. He's never played a game before. But we're doing all right here. You let him know the earth, so That's fine. Um, we'll leave it at that for now but Darren Moore doesn't look like he's playing very well who else isn't playing well Pavlenko isn't playing very well that's a key area that I've got a ball winning midfielder the defensive midfielder and every t whoever I play doesn't play well we're a bit we're a bit, we're a bit short of form you know 6.5s is, is low 6.4s is, is low looks like the folks who play down the wings I'm so annoyed. I was so annoyed at that Leeds game. They were awful. They were just putting balls over the top and, and getting around us so easy. It was so awful to watch. And the amount of times that we were playing the ball around the defence like we're doing now and they were just coming away and taking the ball away. There was one time where our left back and wing... Our left back... There you go. There was one time where our left back and our left winger were just playing it to each other. They got tackled, put one ball over the top and they went and scored. And I, I just couldn't believe it. They'll score now. Julian Brandt, they've got some good players. Zapata, yeah, there you go. Did nothing with the ball and they've gone and scored. Uh, and I'm also starting to believe that I think the tiki taka tactic might have to come to an end. It's not working. Steiner is not good. Steiner has an awful game every time. Six. Four bookings. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do with this team anymore. We are all over the place. I'm going to bring on Povey. Bring on Marina. These are new guys. See if they can do something. All right, okay. What have we got here? Diogo. Marina. Diogo again. Saved. Oh, it's come to us. Come on. Do something instead of just standing there with it. Gordon. Rogerio. Gordon. Oh, my word. Good challenge, Pavlenko. You know, yeah, awful. Um, we're going out here, semi finals defensively. Yeah, Janik Steiner, he's extremely highly rated. Looks like he's going to be very, very good player, but he has been awful when I've played him recently, so bad. 6.3, 6.5. Uh, he doesn't fit the tactic as well, uh, which is a shame. We've got so many bookings. He doesn't fit the tactic. Uh, yeah. How is that a highlight? How is that a highlight? 
yeah, uh, Liverpool made the final. So it's going to be Liverpool Wolves in the Carabao Cup final. We're getting absolutely nowhere near this, despite being 2 0 up in the home in the away leg. We looked through that one. Yeah, we're it, things are dire at the moment. I've, I've, they've never been this bad, um, and I don't think, I don't think I'll see. It. There's a possibility I might not see out the season with this form, which is a real shame. If it comes to that, boys, I can I'll continue the continue the career or just try and get a new job somewhere else. I've ha I have I have had um, requests for interviews at Premier League uh, teams, so I'm obviously highly thought of. But it's just kind of gone gone to pot here. Um, um, it's just not working. This this, this tactic, which I've kept faithful for for the entire time, it's just falling apart now. They're not working together. Um, yeah, so we'll keep on we'll keep on going. Um, the moment this nothing's happening here, is it? Yeah, that's the end of that then. So we're out we're out of the Carabao Cup at the semi final. Uh, yeah, fine. We play. And we've got a huge game against Bournemouth. I'm going to rest a few players because the way I see it, we're playing so badly, um, I'm not going to get a win. There's no point uh, putting the players through it to only mess it up. So I'm going to rest a few of those players um, and just hope that the, the new guys work for a bit. Oh, God, that's such bad form. Um, What should I do? What the fixture list is looking a bit weird. Jerry Hughes is injured. Three to four weeks. <sighs> Mental. Yeah, so. That's going to be a massive game. These two games here. Middlesbrough and Birmingham are going to be big, so I join it for we'll we'll rejoin it for one of those games, and hopefully we'll be in with a ch uh, chance of getting promotion. But it's not looking likely at the moment. We're so bad. Um, but yeah, we've got some huge games coming up towards the end of the season. Borough, Birmingham, West Brom; those are going to be big. Um, hopefully, our form will pick up because this is genuinely depressing at the moment. Um, but we'll keep faith and. Hope that I don't hope, hope that I don't get sacked. Uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Like, subscribe, all that stuff. Comments. I read all of them. Well, all one that I get, but I read them. Whatever. Um, I'll catch you on the next one. Probably the most depressing episode we've had since we started. It can only get better, right? Cheers, then.